Hi friends, it's Lindsay from Lenny Penny Embroidery. Please excuse my voice, it's a little crispy. I am getting over a cold that feels like it has lasted forever, but I have something really neat to show you. This is for my friends who use the Embrilliance programs. Um, if you recently purchased one of the applique fonts that we released, um, the sports style fonts or the two color fonts, you'll notice in the same folder where your BX file is, there is a BE envelope file. So let's open that up and I'll show you what it does. This is what you'll see when you open it up. Um, some curved text. This is the basic block font that comes with all of the Embrilliance programs. So this is a good place to start. All you have to do is click on that text and then let's type in what we want it to say. I'm typing mama. There's a fun trend with shirts that say mama. And I think people are using the scraps from baby onesies and it's really cute. So I've typed mama and now from the drop down over here I'm going to select one of my new native fonts. I'm going to do the sports block with a vintage finish. So click on that and there it is and as soon as I click off of the lettering, watch what happens. Love it. So really neat. Um, you can do this with any of the new native fonts. Let's take a look at the satin stitch. There it is. Looks really neat. And the bean stitch, just an outline, but uh, and then the two color fonts. Can't forget about those. Those look really neat too. Two color bean stitch. And we have a two color vintage. So this is really fun. Let's go back to this one here and we'll set up a fun file. So we've got mama and if you select that you'll be able to see the size over here. It's a little bit bigger than eight inches so let's take it down a little bit. Seven inches and there it goes. Pops right into place and I'll add some more lettering. And change my font. So I'm going to use the basic bean and these are scalable so you can take it up and down as a native font. You can make it whatever size you want it to be and it resizes perfectly. Space my lettering out how I want it to look. And this looks, this is really neat. I love this. So you might be wondering, isn't this just the same as curved text? And it's not. I'll show you the difference. So you can curve your text over here. Let's see. I use the same letter so you can see. Um, yeah, it's just a different look. It looks really neat. This is really fun with sports teams. Let's see, school names, I mean, lots and lots of options here. This envelope is a lot of fun to use. Let's see what else we can do in here. Oh, so you might be wondering too, these are native fonts. What happens if I use a not native font? Uh, I'll just pick one that's closest here. Um, okay, so this Arial script, uh, this is native. Let's see, change the way it looks a little bit. As soon as I click out, it fits it to the curve. Um, if we switch this, when you're selecting your fonts, if you see a needle next to it, it's not native. Uh, if you see no needle, it is native. So that means it can be scaled up and down. So these are not native and I'm gonna switch to the exact same font. This is just the regular BX, not native. Uh, looks good so far, not not looking good anymore. Um, since this is not native, it's not scalable, the software is still going to force it to fit in the envelope. Um, it's just not going to be a clean looking design like you would get with the native. See, resizes perfectly. 
So that is how you use the envelope file that I have included with the new fonts, uh, the basic sports applique in two styles, um, the basic bean outline, and the two color, the one that comes in blanket, bean, and vintage. Lots of fun. I hope that you get to use this envelope file and enjoy it. And of course, I'd love to see your projects in our Lenny Penny Embroidery Facebook group. Thanks for watching.